In this video, I'm going to teach you all about soft and hard edges in watercolour painting. So I'm a self-taught watercolour artist. I've been painting for four years now. And this is something that I wish was available to me right at the beginning of my journey. It definitely would have helped me to learn how to paint in watercolours much faster. So this is the third video now in a series of watercolour techniques that I'm teaching on YouTube. My last two videos were wet into dry and wet into wet. So if you haven't looked at those videos yet, go back after this video and watch those videos. You'll find them really useful, I think. If you're wondering what this is, this is my little dog, Sky. She's a little baby honestly she's a little cavapoo but she just hangs around me all day so um i felt like she needed a little cuddle because she kept just staring at me and i felt a little bit guilty <laughs> is it cute you know little cutie yeah she's just like a little teddy bear she's so cute bless her i thought the best way to teach you about soft and hard edges is just to point my camera down and demonstrate some of these techniques for you let me show you how you can soften an edge now say if i was painting circle or something so i've just got a nice clean brush now and i'm going to dab it on a cloth i'm going to take off most of the moisture but i'm not going to take it all off because i do want to have a little bit of moisture in my brush you can feel your brush to see if you've got too much water if it's dripping or it's absolutely soaking then you've got too much water you just want to have a little bit of water so it's damp and then you can rub that damp brush on the edge of your paint and what happens is that paint will start flowing into the water and then you'll get a lovely soft edge. You do want to make sure you haven't got too much water in your brush and this all comes with practice by the way because if you've got too much water in your brush you'll just get a back run like what happened here. Um, it is actually happening here because maybe I had a bit too much water in my brush. This isn't the best paper though, this is, um, I'm just working on the back of really old paper so this is just the back of a painting if this does happen you can actually just go back into your paint if it's not dried completely you can even out the water with your brush then so can you see how that's created a nice soft edge let me show you how can you can do that in a straight line as well i'm gonna just dab my brush off so i've not got too much water then i'll just touch the edge of that shape so i'm just sort of rubbing very gently over the edge of that shape and what's happening is the paint is actually flowing into the water and you're going to get a lovely soft edge as opposed to a hard edge which would be this edge here. It all depends on how much water you've got in your brush to how far that paint is going to spread as well. If I add some paint here to show you and I'm going to add quite a lot of water to my brush so I'm going to add lots of water and I'm going to touch the edge of that, that's going to start spreading quite far because there's lots of water, excuse my paper, my paper is terrible, there's lots, it's not doing it now is it, there's lots of water on the paper for that paint to spread out into, so if you only want your paint to spread a little bit, make sure you've only got a damp brush, so there's enough water in the brush just to soften the edge, that's not spreading very far now because there's not much water on the paper. Uh, what I'm going to do is just rinse off my brush so I've got nothing on my brush now. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I just wanted to have a variation in tone, which means the light and darkness of a colour. So I'm just using my clean brush now. And I'm just going to paint in this area here. So can you see how that's really light now? So it just adds a bit of variation really. I created soft edges on my shadows of my snowman by applying wet paint onto wet paper. This is called the wet on wet method. When you use the wet on wet method, you'll always going to get soft edges because the paint is going to spread out into a wet area and keep those edges nice and soft and fuzzy. I also use this method to blend out a hard edge on my background here. So I'm just using a damp brush and rubbing it across the edge. With things like animals and birds, I apply the water further than I want the paint to travel and that is to keep both sides of that paint soft. So for instance here I added a little bit of wet paint and because I'm applying it to a wet paper, those edges all around are going to be nice and soft and fuzzy and blurry. And you'll see here on the body as well, I also didn't bring the paint all the way down to the bottom and that's why I applied the water further than I wanted the paint to travel, if that makes sense. 
I also use the wet on wet method to apply areas of paint that I want to keep the edges nice and soft so that I can apply more paint a little bit later on. You'll see what I mean in a minute. It just keeps the edges of that paint nice and wet so that I can blend paint into those areas. So here I was adding a little bit of blue and I wanted edges of this paint to stay nice and soft so that I could add those other colours so that they blend nicely into one another. If I applied this paint onto dry paper, you'd just get a hard drying line. On this parrot that I made for my Skillshare class, I used a damp brush to blend up some of the edges to keep those edges lovely and soft. And it just helps to soften those edges with the damp brush. Here are the soft edges, and then on this side are hard edges. So you've got a nice crisp line on that one side. Thank you so much for watching today. Did you enjoy that video and find it useful? I use the blending method in most of my paintings. So if you haven't tried this, have a practice of this. It does take time to figure out how much water you need to use when you're blending your edges. But just practice, honestly, you will get there. And if you need any help, just comment in the comments box below and I'll help you as best as I can. Have a lovely rest of your day. Happy practicing, and I'll see you in my next video. All about blooms, cauliflowers, and backgrounds. Yeah.